today I'll be turning some papers into papers. <laughs> Hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel so before I get into today's video please subscribe to my channel down below like this video because things are going to get messy but a lit so today I'll be making some handmade paper now you're wondering what the hell am I talking about basically it's a process where you're recycling old scrap papers instead of like recycling them outside you can actually be creative it can be a nice fun activity to do where you're recycling some old scrap papers you know you may have some old junk in your attic in your storage and under the bed whatever well at least I do because I like to keep all my stuff I don't like throwing things away just because I feel like in five to ten years time I can go back and you know go through these things and just like relive all the moments again and just it's a habit that I have if you do that too let me know in the comment section below so tune in to see me get creative in my last video I absolutely failed the drum roll thing so I'm gonna try it again I've practiced it <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. To begin with, I am taking some old notes from my time in A levels and I am cutting it into finer strips of paper. Your girl lacks patience, but it doesn't matter because we are then cutting it into smaller pieces. A tip the smaller the pieces, the more useful it will be in the next step. Next, I am soaking all the pieces into some lukewarm water because we need it to be soft and soggy. I let it sit for an hour, then as you can see the pieces have become quite mushy and ready for the next stage in the recycling process. Then I am using a milkshake grinder that I no longer use. I am filling it with approximately two spoons of the soggy papers with some water and I am grinding it into a soft paste. This is the outcome and it's called pulp. Yeah, I did a lot of research on how to hand me recycle paper. Hehe. <laughs> when it comes to creativity, the artist in me awakens. <laughs> I will be experimenting with some dried flowers, dark confetti, food colours, glitter paint and some watercolours to create unique, colourful and textured handmade papers. So now, let's make some pretty handmade recycled papers. I am adding some of the pulp in a bowl full of water and I am mixing it well to evenly spread the pulp. At this point, you would normally use a tool called the deco which is the removable wooden frame used in the manual paper making process since i do not have one of these instead we are going to use a kitchen utensil known as the handheld powder sieve i don't know if this is a worldwide thing but you are bound to find one of this in a brown household however you can purchase this from amazon i am using the sieve to evenly scoop up the pulp with the help of the water to create an even layer like so, draining all the water out by tilting it to one side. Then I use a cloth to gently dab to remove any excess water. But ouch, the cloth was too rough and it began sticking to the pulp. So I switched to a thin cloth and it worked just fine. Then I let it dry for an hour before removing it from the sieve by slapping the sieve several times in the process and finally the paper fell in one single piece. Moment of relief please. Looked easy right? Not gonna lie this first one came out so pretty. In the next 4 days I broke several of these while trying to remove it from the sieve because it would be too wet. And made holes into many while trying to soak away excess water like this one. But there is always light at the end of the tunnel. And I did manage to make some pretty ones like this. Here I used some of the raw pulp and I added some star confetti. And I think it came out pretty pretty cool. And because I let this one dry long enough, it came out of the sieve really nicely. I then added some white watercolour to make some white paper. Which I'm going to add some dried red flowers to. If there was an uneven spot, instead of taking the whole thing out of the sieve, I can just add some extra pulp with water onto the spot that needed a little bit more to just like fix it. You know? And it worked fine. <laughs> then I mixed some white and red watercolour to make this beautiful and cute looking pink colour. To which I will be adding this cream slash white colour dried flowers. And I think they go well so beautifully. Then I 
prepared three different mixtures using the food colors and I left it overnight. Here I realized that the food coloring wasn't giving a, like a solid color. So then I thought of a DIY and then I went to my kitchen and I grabbed some turmeric and I added some turmeric and it instantly gave a solid orange color, which just looks too good. For this orange paper, I thought some contrasting purple slash white flowers would be awesome as you can see on the screen they are looking so cute i then made some green paper using the green food coloring which gave a very pastely kind of green color and i was okay with that i think it came out pretty good And to that I added a red flower and it was just very simple and just something beautiful in the middle. Then I started making some pastel -y kind of colours and these were coming out very very nice. So then I made a pastel pink colour which came out pretty good. And to that as well I added a red flower. It was in the shape of a heart so I think that was pretty good. Damn, did you see that fall and wow i think this pink color is just so so stunning oh, just look at the texture and the details hashtag awesome so now to the same mixture of that pastel pink color i added some purple watercolor pulp and wow that made such a beautiful pastel purple color i was just amazed and for this I found the perfect dried flower. It was this white beautiful dried flower and I just thought it went so well together. Normally people make square papers or rectangle papers but I'm making circle ones and they're coming out pretty good. And as you can see this pastel purple kind of colour has come out so beautifully. The texture and just the colour itself and all the other different little colours that you can see they're just amazing. So beautiful. Now to that same mixture, I am now adding some white and blue coloured watercolour pulp and I think this has now created a proper pastel purple colour. In comparison to this one, I think the previous one was more of a pinkish tone. But regardless, they're all so so beautiful. And now lastly, for this purple pastel colour paper, I have the perfect flower once again and it's this beautiful, it's got some shades of light purple, dark purple and I think it's just perfect for this colour. So let's put this on. And lastly, to be more creative, I went and I got some fresh flowers which I added to this mixture here. I had added some black watercolour, that's why the colour is like this and it was going all fine. I made it, I let it dry and then when I tried to take it out of the sieve, it broke because it was way too wet because I think it had way too much mixture and therefore I just created like a very thick layer which just took way too long to dry and I was losing patience so when I tried to take it out it broke so guys now after 24 to 48 hours they have finally dried and now I'm going to put them in a pile in a towel and then I'm going to stack three books on top to like press them and just make them like very fine and even Hey guys, so this is 24 hours later and all the handmade papers have dried and they are looking so so astonishingly beautiful. <laughs> These are the handmade papers, you can call it recycled papers, they have come out so beautiful. After pressing it down for a day, they are super soft and very fine, thin and actually reusable and I think that's just amazing. They have such a good texture such good colors and these can be used in journaling scrapbooking can even make like a little notebook out of it or you know like a very vintagey kind of book and yes i thoroughly enjoyed making these handmade papers and i would definitely do this again <laughs> and i'm definitely going to use these papers to create something 
I'll let you know what I create and yes that's all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to hit the like button and share if you want to and I'll see you guys next time bye